A new documentary opened in select cities this weekend called I Am Jane Doe. The film shines a bright light on how young women are being sold online and the legal fight against one particular website. The film follows several families. Nicole's daughter left home at 15. Trying to wrap my head around how you take a child that was a soccer star, a violinist, and 36 hours later, she's being sold on a website. MA's mom, Kubicki, had used the site Backpage.com to buy and sell couches and TVs, and then she found her missing 13-year-old daughter for sale. It was the third link from the top. It had stars and hearts, and it said young and new. I clicked it, and there was the pictures of my daughter. M.A. had been trafficked for sex for nine months. It's happening in every city and every town across America. That blew me away. I had not a clue. After a two-year investigation, a Senate subcommittee found Backpage edited ads to avoid red flags, as a former moderator describes in the film. We had a list of words that we went by that were not supposed to be used in the ad. I spoke with subcommittee we'll chair Senator Rob on Portman on MSNBC Thursday. Backpage.com has about 80 percent of the commercial sex traffic, and so they have almost a monopoly on this. That's validation of the findings. The day before the his subcommittee held a hearing last month, Backpage announced it would remove its adult content section because of, quote, government censorship. Backpage's executives refused to answer questions question. at the hearing. Based on the rights provided by the First and Fifth Amendments. But for years, the company has argued Backpage is not responsible for content that third parties post. Backpage also argues it has helped law enforcement fight trafficking. But in two new lawsuits against Backpage filed just last week, lawyers say young girls are still being advertised just on a different part of the site. We believe in a fully and vibrant internet, just like everybody else. But can these companies do more to eradicate this problem? Absolutely. There are multiple civil cases against Backpage right now and a criminal case involving executives.